BBC Wiltshire, Brimful of Asher, Corner Shop, getting us started in style on the social on your Monday evening. And to get the chat started tonight, we've got a Swindon man who shares his music online, on YouTube and social media. That's right. He is Gaz Keenan, but he performs as John Lennon. The Beatle, who is one of the most iconic figures of the 20th century. Gaz or should I say John? Yeah, yeah. Welcome. yeah. <laughs> thank to you. the studio. Thank How are you, you doing? Very much. I'm good. Thank you. It's great to have you here. We're, we've been so excited about this. First question, though: Why did you start doing this? Why mm. did you start impersonating John Lennon? Uh, it was last year, around about last March. Uh, my wife tagged me in a Facebook post. Um, the bootleg Beatles were looking for a new John Lennon. Oh wow! So I've been a musician for 25 years since you know I was. Fit. <laughs> um, and I thought, well, I've been, I'm a musician, I've got a big nose, uh, I've got the accent, <laughs> let's go for it. Wow. So I went for it. Um, I only had about th- two or three weeks to prepare, so I did what I could. It wasn't quite good enough. Um, I mean, the bootleg Beatles are huge, yeah, they're, they're great. so they established. Are huge, they're, yeah. They play the Albert Hall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I wasn't too disappointed. I got some good feedback. Um, but then just a couple of months later, um, another job came up for the Upbeat Beatles. Mm-hmm. And that was actually filmed for a TV programme that was aired last October. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was a bit weird, like filming for an entire day and then auditioning and then finding Ooh. out on the same day. It was it was crazy. That's pressure. Uh, yes, it was. But it was a really good experience. Um, and yeah, I, I won through. I got the job. Yay. Um, various reasons why I decided not to take it up. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's, it's good in the end. I'm my own boss now. So, nice. I, yeah, I should say, we should describe you really yeah. because you, you don't just sound like John Lennon with that fantastic <laughs> Merseyside accent, but you look like him too. What year you are we know? thinking? Is it like 1969? You Lennon? got it. Is that right? Bang on the bottom. Hey, put it there. Long, right. long hair, there we go. dark yeah. brown, yeah. little Abbey round Road, glasses. Abbey Road sort yeah. of sessions. Yep. Yeah, definitely. But I do, I do the whole lot. I, the, the, the show that we do uh, with John Lennon UK Tribute, it, we, it's called Lennon Retrospective. So we start with his later stuff mm. and then work backwards through the later Beatles, and mid Beatles, and then culminate with the early Beatles. Is there a best period then, in your opinion? Late Beatles. Really? Uh, I Why? Think, um, just the musical output was so clever yeah. and just so groundbreaking at the time. It's not, it's not been you know, replicated since. I don't think there's been anything that changed... No. has changed music quite so much as what they did in those four or five short years. And it's never dated. It never sounds never. of its era. No. It always just sounds brilliant. You can put Abbey Road on now, listen to it from beginning to end, you've got that whole medley, the mm. second half, and yeah. it's just sublime. Do you know what? My eight-year-old son, this is genuinely, came up to me three days ago and said the Beatles are the best band of all time, aren't they? He's got taste. Really? Yeah, yeah. Eight years old. Yeah. You know, it, it does oh, yeah. show. It just, they, they last forever, don't they? So yeah. if, you know, if you want a lot of gigs as an impersonator, I think you've chosen the right band. <laughs> yeah. you know? There's a lot out there, though. There's a, you know, there's a lot of people doing it, yeah. But why why John Lennon? Why did you like John Lennon and not, say, George Harrison or I, I've Paul I've always McCartney? identified with John most of all. Probably because of his, um, you know, sardonic wit and mm. quite, quite, quite biting. Yeah. And he's, he's quite aggressive and forceful. And that's always appealed to me. Yeah. You know, Paul was always very sort of, da 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 da. I'm doing the jazz hands, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't translate very well no, to radio. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've always identified with, with John mostly. And he's, he's just the coolest. You know, he's, he's just. He's always the best. Brilliant. Well, I think I think we should hear. It's lovely to hear you talk. I'm loving the accent. <laughs> Thank but, you. But but you brought your guitar in, I have. so let's hear what you sound like as okay. John Lennon. What are you going to sing? Uh, well, I'm going I'm to take a bit of a risk. I usually play it a bit safe with yeah. something like you got High Love Away, but I'm actually going to sing one of his later songs, which is more piano based, um, and so it's a bit of a risk doing it on acoustic. That's what the social's all about. We yeah. take risks every night, me and Sue. Can we anyone do. whistle? So join the club. Can you whistle? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like in your style. This is Gaz Keenan as John Lennon singing Jealous Guy live on BBC Wiltshire. Again 
singing as John Lennon live on BBC Wiltshire. You uh, catch, catch your breath. We'll have more conversation uh, with you in just a second. That was wonderful. Thank you. Morning. BBC Wiltshire, that was the Beatles' eight days uh, a week. You're listening to The Social on Monday evening and we are enjoying music and conversation from John Lennon this hour in the form of impersonator Gaz Keenan from Swindon. Now, he has showcased his performances as John Lennon on YouTube and all over social media and he tours the country regularly. But Gaz, you may well have done all these things, all these TV performances, all these radio performances, but you have done nothing until you've had a Tim Weeks quick fire session. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, I am. Oh, yes, let's do it. Yeah, OK, <laughs> right then. It's four questions. Firstly, Paul, George or Ringo, if you weren't Paul, who would you be? If I weren't Paul? Yeah. No, John. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, it's see, very sometimes confusing. These, yeah, sometimes <laughs> these quick fires... They I'm even, with you. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, I knew where yes, you were yes, going. Yes. Do you know right, what I mean? that's all right. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Uh, Ringo. Really? Oh. Yeah. But everybody eats a bit of a joke sometimes, isn't he? <gasps> oh... OK, I'm backing oh. off right now. You just made me look good for fluffing my lines. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. That's, what, that's a partnership. Yeah, that switchboard's going to light okay, up now. Yes. OK, number two. Let's do this one properly. Your favourite song, I want to know? A Day in the Life. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, we've Fantastic. reacted like that, whatever. Yes, because it's Day in the Life. It's easy. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant. Much. Oh, okay. Jealous Guy of his solo stuff. Yeah, OK. Yeah. OK, nice. Right, no, question number three. Given the opportunity, would you go back and be born in 1950 so you could live through Beatlemania? Ooh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Last question Beatles or Stones? 
heels all the way. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. Go. That was an I easy think one. most people say that. But I am curious about, you know, you showcase your music on YouTube and, and social media. How has it helped you establish your career? It's a fairly new career. You've been in it for, what, less than a year? So, or more, just more than a year. So how has the online world helped you, do you think? Uh, it, well, I mean, it's big, isn't it? Let's face it. Mm. Um, I, th- I think the main thing with the social media, it's getting it noticed. It's difficult. Yes. Because there's so much out there. Yeah. And it's um, it's very uh, it's very brief. Mm. Um, you know, people's less than 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, yeah. You know, it 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 really. You put a post out, and it's gone within 30 seconds. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. know, so I think that's the biggest challenge is engaging. And it's knowing what content to engage people and to, you know, make it worth their while following you yeah. and, and, you know, looking out for you. OK, so with that in mind, what sort of content do you put out on your social media? Uh, I try and put out little snippets of gigs that we've done. Mm-hmm. So audience footage, um, it, we always try and, if we've got a practice, we'll try and get a, a song or two. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, we, we, we take a little Zoom recorder along with us, record a gig, and we'll always try and put a snippet up of that. And also, you know, we always promote the gigs as well that we've got coming up, and yep. we try and target that to the, you know, ge- geographic areas that we're, we're going to, mm-hmm. yeah. so that we don't bore everybody yeah. all the time yeah. with, oh, look, we've got a gig, we've got a gig, we've got a gig. <laughs> so talking, talking of your gig mm. uh, and your gigs, uh, what, what can people expect when they come to see you? What does one of your shows look like, Gaz? So it's designed um, to run backwards. It's called Lennon Retrospective, and it runs from his solo years um, through the later Beatles years, and then culminating in the in the early years. So that it's designed really so that all the thinking music is first, yeah. and then when everybody's had a shandy or a gin and tonic, (laughs) all the dancey stuff is later on in the twist and shouting. Yeah, exactly. So that's how we sort of design the show. Uh, and we try and do it so that it's not cheesy, mm-hmm. or at least not too cheesy. Yeah. The, the later Lennon stuff is done quite seriously, yeah. as is the later Beatles. And then when it's getting to the twist and shout stuff, then yeah, it's a little bit cheesy. Mm. Yeah. But I think even the Beatles would admit that they were a little bit cheesy in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And and how, how does it, you know, who comes to your shows? When you look out at the audience, is it all ages, all types? It is, yeah. It's, it's quite surprising. Um, as you touched on earlier, Tim, you know, the, it just, it's ageless. And, and we get really young people and we get, you know, the old, the older generation that want to go out and sit in a nice comfy seat and have aforementioned <laughs> gin and tonics yeah. and just reminisce a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, you know, it is a cross section and it, it, but that's really nice. And are you on tour at the moment? Uh, we are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got um, just one coming up in April. Um, but then May is really busy. We're heading over to uh, Ireland for a, a Ooh, run of lovely. dates in Ireland, which we're really looking forward to. Yeah, they take Liverpool and that's from Liverpool close to their heart, don't Very they? Just so, across yeah. the water. Yes, yeah. indeed. I'm going to have to be on my A game. <laughs> yeah, you will. Pressure on. You think the quick fire was hard? <laughs> yeah, no, that's nothing mine compared Absolutely. to what I'm going to see over there. And, and what's the dream for the future? To do this uh, all the time? Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. it would be really nice. But, you know, it's just good fun. Yeah. You know, um, I think most musicians would be in agreement when they say, you know, first and foremost, it's got to be enjoyable. Yeah. You know, if, if we get a decent payday from it, then great. Yeah. But it's it's the enjoyment that is, is first and foremost. You haven't given up the day job yet? No, I'm afraid not. In what two is years, the day I- job? Well, <laughs> Honda. Oh, oh okay. So yes. uncertain so let's keep times. It upbeat, please. Uncertain mm. times. Yes. Indeed. Well, I tell you what is upbeat was your performance tonight. Mm. Thoroughly enjoyed Absolutely. listening to that. It was great. Thank uh, you very Gaz. much. Thank so you. keep showcasing your work uh, online so we can keep up with you. I and, certainly uh, will. Where's your gig in April? Uh, it's uh, Worcester, the Mars Bar. Is that a long way away? It's not from far. It's, no, no, it's no, you can do that. Far. You can do it in probably an hour. There yeah. you go. Um, That's a good one. But we have got. Bath Chapel Arts, which is even closer. That's yeah. in May, 11th Fantastic. of May. Wow. Which is a really nice venue. So if you guys want to come along, please give me a show. So the show is called uh, Retrospective John Lennon. Le- Lennon Retrospective, yeah. I, was I mean, close. I, yeah. Basically, <laughs> the band's called John Lennon Tribute UK. If you if you search on online for that, you will find us. Brilliant. Well, good luck with it all, and thank you very much for coming in to see us tonight. You were absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you. Top job, guys. Thank you very much, John, I should say. Now, on the way, a podcast (laughs) recommendation is coming from this evening's podcast reviewer here on The Social.
on BBC Wiltshire. And don't forget, tweet a tune. We'd like to hear from you if you want a song played just before 10. Maybe a Beatles track.